think we're joining me for another OcoDBA tutor uh, session. Uh, today we will go over how to use the Oco Data Pump uh, feature, which is an import and export, um, which are important export features that basically allows for you to, um, you know, manipulate or you're basically um, you manipulate your objects. Um, we have the import feature. Uh, basically, you can import uh, objects from uh, from uh, different um, places. Uh, for example, on your own system, you can import them into your uh, onto your um, Oco um, Oco software, and you can also um, export um, data from your Oco software to your um, the the um, your system on your system directory. So the one of the first thing you do is you um you start SQL plus and you um basically connect there you go you're connected make sure your show sure user use this. And then, so you can go back and forth between your your system or SQL Plus. Okay. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I will I will actually go back to my um, I will create first thing you do is you create a directory. Create directory. DP. I'm gonna call it DP stands for uh, data pump, and I'll just be pretty straightforward. The data pump directory, uh, and then what I will do now is I will actually go into my file system and find um, the directory for for my uh, for my uh, so pretty much what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do uh, right now. Um, so. What I will do is I will copy that and then so what I will do also is since I am going to create this as what I'm gonna do is I will have to put in a uh, a particular directory. So if you look at this one, uh, the BKD one that's the one that I used from uh, one of my previous uh uh, export and import. Um, okay, and then for this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a, a, a brand new directory uh, so you guys can get a sense of what what really goes on. So I'm gonna call this one um, over there the um, exp. Oh, actually, you know what? Data pump. Okay, and then close it. Directory has been created. Okay, so we have a separate directory. Um, so what we're gonna do, uh, do now is we want to. Uh, so I'm gonna be using user HR because uh, I that's the only that's the only user that that comes with Oracle 11 G 11 G release two that you can uh, basically unlock. Um, I've seen examples on uh, on the Scott user, but um, that one the Scott user has to be downloaded. Um, not downloaded, but you just have to import that from. Uh, from you know um, any anyone in internet, uh, just import that schema and um, and place it on your um, and place it on your Oracle um, um, installation. So what I'll do now is I will actually grant uh, this directory to grant ownership. I'm gonna grant read write to uh, on DP directory to can we write on directory you have to be very specific to HR there you go so I've, I've just got to that um, that directory access to HR so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, I'm actually going to I'm going to connect as HR and I'm going to run uh, a number of queries uh, basically to, 
details to sort of like give you a sense of what of what um, what the data is that I'll be capturing. So um, first thing I do is I will so I'm actually gonna I'm gonna describe to you guys uh, describe what my different uh, what the different um, objects that I have uh, are um, of my of my system. Describe user control cases. You know what? Select table name. Select table name from HR. You know what? What I need to do is I need to. I'm describing. They are about you know what, select table. There you go. So basically, this is what I have. I have um, these are the different tables that I have um, for my uh, as my for my HR user. And pretty much, you know, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna be exporting this table and then for this table and the department table. And then um, actually, you know what? Let's make that employees and jobs table. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Export and import these two tables, um, and basically, and I'm gonna import them uh, uh, basically right after. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna export them, delete the data uh, in my schema, in the HR schema, and then import them back into the HR schema. And you guys will see that bit pretty much. You know, I, I'll have access to my data once again. So, um, so I'm gonna run the query select star from. Jobs. I have 19 rows for jobs. Select star from employees. Pretty much, you see what what I'm working with. Uh, this is all data that I have on the seven rows, and I think it was like 19 rows for the jobs. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to the export. So uh, I will go to my host, and I will run this command. Expdp. Um, HR slash not that yours dot exe um, and then also I would advise you to um always for for um, basically for these when you when you're labeling um like when you're assigning lab like direct like labels you know for you know for um for basically, you know, for an for environment, I would advise you to always capitalize, capitalize it. Um, that's the that's just the way that you know from experience, you know, that I've seen, uh, you know, how that how that helps how doing that helps um, you basic basically, um, you know, not experience as many um, bugs or any, as many uh, problems. Um, you know, while you're doing your work. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, directory. I'm going to um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to call this the D the, the DP directory. I think that's what I named it, right? Yeah, I think that's what I named it. D was it D pump directory? The DP. Directory. Okay, I think it was DP directory. Um, and then. Um, I will also assign the table. 
for the world and for you. So I can do some of that for this one. And for these, I'm going to call that that one, that's B and B. I'm going to also sign it off that I would be equal to employees. And it's for that one, that off. And then pretty much this should work. Unless I've made a mistake somewhere, but this should be working. Lottery file operation, call that in quick. Um, let me see what went wrong. Okay, PDP, RP. You know what? If I could only. If I could only go back to. But you know what? This is a mistake that I made. So, if you remember what I did is, I um, I created, if you look at this other uh, three nine zero zero two. so the problem is that I did not, um, I did not paste that here in my, in my, uh, in my actual directory, my physical directory. So, I'm going to call this one data um, so pretty much it's going to match what I already have on here so um, and let's see if this one goes here there you go so pretty much always make sure that these two matches match uh, the directory that you get on that you get here and the directory that you actually have uh, the physical directory that you have so what I'm gonna do is I will I will actually go into my um, SQL plus into SQL um, into my OPO um, soft into my OPO uh, database and you know what I'll do is I will connect connect into a and then what I will do is I would actually drop Table. I made a mistake. Um, you need to know drop table. This is actually going to be very useful, by the way. Double job. Cascade. Let's change. There you go. Double job. Job. Table. Employees. Cascade. Okay, so you should get the job. 
off. So if you tried to do it for like fitment on these things, you would not be able to do it for like stuff. Um, and so he doesn't exist. Same thing for the job. Like job, um, job. Doesn't exist. So what you do now is you go to your host. You uh, you type in import. You don't have to actually have the exact same um, log file, but um, basically, um, you definitely do need to have the same dump file because it's going to be a matter of. So the dump file is where you where you exported the data into. So if you want to import it, then you have to reference the same the same uh, dump file. So uh, I'm just going to create a random uh, log file for this one. Uh, log file. Um, I'm going to call this one employee. For this one, I learned this from someone else. Um, you, you, I would advise you use IMPD, uh, PDB for uh, for log file, basically for recognition um, purposes. So you know, uh, basically, oh, uh, this is a log file where this research is going to be located. Um, you know, if it's an import, then it's going to just going to say the IMPD, but if it's an export, it's going to say EXPD. Um, uh, and then you want to type in. That one that log. There you go. Basically, we are now importing our data uh, from that dump file. You can dump file location. So there you go. The import was successfully complete, uh, um, completed. So we've done it. So what we need to do now is we need to go back to SQL plus and then log in as this PDA as our so I'll use a little uh, HR. So now remember last time when we run the um, the select stuff from jobs, and then pretty much we got the table view that I exist. So let's try it again. There you go. So we do have our jobs back, and then the last one last time we also ran the uh, employees um, table. Um, and then select select star from employees, and that one is also uh, back. So pretty much, that's how you do. You perform an import, uh, an import down or an export downward also. And again, the feature is called data pump. Uh, it's going to come in handy um, as a DBA, and just make sure that you get a sample product of how it works um, uh, and you know just try to practice it over and over with different types of objects uh, and eventually you come you get a hand you get a, uh, a you know hang of, of, of you know what it does and you know how um, how pretty much you know it, it helps you as a you know you know each your day-to-day -day work with it as a as a as a data sure. thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you guys next time.